Hi there. So today we want um, to connect this little um, care remote um, to our open hub installation with the aim of controlling this lamp here. Um, and we have on this thing, we have uh, dim up down and we have arrow left right, which is uh, I'm going to use that for the color temperature. But as usual, uh, the first thing here is to uh, log into the OpenHub platform. I'll take my keyboard away. So that's gone. And then um, here and we say yes this is allowed to join so grant and we do that and then the way this works with these uh, we'll just, we just reset this so um, one two three four and that should and that now blinks red here it's very hard to see um, inside so um, Interview started, announced. Yeah, it's pairing up. I think that might be done. Oh yeah, there. Um, so interview is successful. Um, and that was an IKEA remote. And yeah, toggle. So that's fair enough. Uh, great. So what we do is we we'll go exit. And we close this down again. So nobody can join our network. As always, Availability timeout is for uh, that uh, Zigbee 2MQTT can tell us if a device is offline or not and the experimental output attribute is so we get plain text messages from Zigbee 2MQTT. Starting this and I forgot something, of course I did. Uh, back out again. So let's see. We call this IKEA remote one because nobody is going to remember the hash with the serial number. There you go. That looks a lot better, as you can see here. This part here, it's there and it's now called properly. So that's us out of that one. So, grant. Yeah. So what we do now is we'll add the um, we'll add the device there. Uh, so things and we'll create um, an MQT scan. Doesn't work. Just, we know that generic okay so this is called IKEA remote one IKEA remote one the bridge as usual is the only one we have which is the MQTT broker and then we have Zigbee 2 MQTT actually I have that here that's okay um, and it's online or offline and that way we know if the battery has ran out um, because it's not working anymore. There we, we can actually get a readout of the battery so that we can know that advance. Um, it won't be set up today. Go to the channel. We add the channel. And this is the um, Kia Remote 1 
trigger or on off called on off not called trigger no I call on off here remote one on off but it is a trigger and the topic is Zigbee 2 MQTT Ikea remote one action great create so this is a trigger so it doesn't do anything so I can show this when, when we go here that's the log we don't need that right now um, we go here and um, move this further over and if I press this button here now you see I've done this a few times it says toggle it also tells us the link quality it tells us if there's a update available and tells us the battery is at 100 um, so that's great um, and the way we deal with the trigger is that we actually use rules I wonder why the slide is off because I, I changed something earlier um, so we add a trigger so this is the IKEA remote one on IKEA remote one on and the trigger is a item event in IKEA spot on off switch pick that um, actually sorry no that's that's incorrect it is the let me go back close nope add a trigger thing event there we go a key remote one a channel was fired and the event is toggle that's what we saw in the log so trigger channel fires that's okay um, and then we have an item action and uh, we want the on off switch on the Kia spot one and we want to turn this to on now I would swear it gets confusing because this is a toggle this is trigger so it would be on off but we can add the condition there's an item condition and we tell it that obviously we only want to do this if the bulb is off and we save that and if I press this now see Did that that didn't work yet um, might have something wrong here So, yeah, it looks like, oh, here, channel fires close. I didn't select the channel, and that's what that is. Save that. That looked a bit short. There, light is on. Great. So we go back to rules, and we do the same thing for the other way around now. So. Here remote uh, that needs to be one one off here remote one off and we add the trigger and this is the same trigger again so it's the thing it's the IKEA remote channel was fired and it is toggle done and I forgot again to select the channel that's uh, very very bad idea fix that now action item action care spot one on off switch pick and this time we want to switch it off and obviously we only want to do that if the bulb is on so pick equal to and the bulb is um, on done safe so now it goes off, now it goes on, on, off, on, great. The other thing is I just put this 
back plate back in here. So that's the first thing done. So the next thing then to do is we um, we pull um, pull this over again. And now we want to do brightness. And you can see if I click, I click here at the brightness up. Brightness up click is what we need. And down, brightness down click. Great. So that's that's the values that we need. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just basically go and see here. Uh, we and basically we, we literally just create more rules. So um, here remote bright brightness up. Uh, here remote one. Oh yes, this is remote one because we might have more than one remote. Um, brightness up. Add trigger, this is a thing event. This is the IKEA remote one, and the channel is uh, brightness up click. You see, I've had that before. Done. Again, forgot to select the channel. That's important. Done. Great. Add action, item action. IKEA spot, brightness. Pick um, send a command to. Oh yeah, um, so there's there's a command you can send to this which is increase. And that refers to the delta that we created in the previous video. Um, I will leave a link to the previous video where we set the bulb up in the first place and I explained that. So we increase that. And the thing is, like, we actually only want to do this if the bulb actually is on, because there's no point in doing anything if the um, bulb is off. So this prevents clutter. And I also create the um, next rule, which is IKEA remote one, bright, brightness down. IKEA remote one, brightness down. Okay. So add a trigger, thing event, here remote one, trigger fire was, and this is brightness down click, as we saw from the, uh, and then add an action, item action, here spot one, brightness pick, um, yeah, and the other command is decrease. So these are open hub internal commands. Again, here I forgot to select the channel. I generally spelled that when, when, when the whole thing here is a bit too too short. And the condition again, uh, there is no point in doing that if the bulb is off. So we might as well say the bulb has to be on for this to do anything. Done. And save. So if you go back to our rules, we now have a brightness, uh, brightness uh, up and down. And what we do is we'll, um, uh, just so you can see it, I go to the items and I go to the brighten, brightness and you can see our bar here and we quite down low. Um, so I'll just go and click, 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 click and back down again. And you can see how it hops there in, uh, in, uh, in these steps as I click this, that's great. So, and then, then there is the color temperature and that works the same way. And it's also with increase and decrease. So 
items rules rules as well and here actually that's a bummer just spotted that i had it spelled right in the top there but i had it spelled as was here apologies for language that's better not just look daft so ikea remote one color temp cold ikea remote one color temp cold um add a trigger thing event a key remote channel which i always forget and the event let's just find out what that was so if i go and i grab this let's see here and i go we'll take um arrow left click we will take that that's fine and the other one is arrow right click arrow left click done action item action care color temperature pick uh, send to command to and this is actually decrease for the cold temperature for the cold color temperature and also in this case there is no point in doing this unless the bulb actually is on um, so that should be on done great safe and then we have one more um which is Here, remote one color temp warm. Here, remote one color temp warm. Again, at the trigger, thing event. Here, remote, don't forget the channel. And this was, uh, we had, we had used left click. So what we use here is we use right click right click done that's correct um item action here color temperature increase and we only do that if the bulb is on pick and on done save Good. So, and so if we now go um, and we go cold, so hang on, that. Oh, yeah, let's actually do the same thing here. Good. So, you can see how it gets, gets a cold color. And you can see if, if if I hadn't taken the step of 20, you would be clicking like a madman. So um, I think this is the appropriate amount of clicks. You can you can change that by changing the delta in the uh, in the thing in the channel. Um, so that works fine. And the brightness go back here. Go to the brightness. That works great and off and on so that way you can literally control the the three features of this warm white bulb uh, from a care remote thank you for today